Hey, it's Sharice from the blog and podcast Style and Stewardship. So I am sharing everything that I'm using for my son for his first grade curriculum. What I have learned since homeschooling, I am a new homeschooler, so to speak. Um, I have one child and if anything I can encourage you with today is that no one knows your child as well as you do. So about a, a year or so ago, my friend told me about this app that she was using and I tried it. I did the little trial and my son absolutely loved it. So I knew that that was something that I wanted to use this year, whether it was just going to be supplemental and just adding on with the curriculum that I was going to be purchasing, or if it was going to be something that I was just going to add a little bit more so I can make sure that he gets a more robust learning experience, I guess. But I went ahead and bought the workbooks to the app that I am using. So Reading Eggs is the name of the app. You may have heard of it before. I had it until my friend shared it with me. Thank you if you're watching this. Um, so this was the workbook that corresponds with the app. And I believe I paid $10 a month or something like that for this. And they also have some other um, components that I love, which is the Fast Phonics, which we use for K5. And we also used um, Math Seeds. So I went ahead this time and bought the workbook and also the for the reading and then the workbook for the math as well. They're super colorful and they're fun. And whenever I take these books out, he knows exact, he knows these characters already. He's already familiar with them and he gets excited. And when I was a kid, I loved Lisa Frank. Do you know what Lisa Frank is? Anyways, um, we, I loved Lisa Frank when I was little. So this kind of reminds me of just really colorful, really fun. Um, I just think it's, he loves it. I love that he loves it. <laughs> and it is teaching him as he's also having fun and it reinforces what he's learning on that app. So it's not all screen time and he's able to do this. So I like to use this as a supplement to um, the curriculum that I'm using. For math, this actually is his curriculum because I am using, um, I'm using the Math Seeds workbook as well as the Math Seeds app. He's actually further along on his app, but I still wanted him to sit there, you know, pen and paper, work problems out. And what I really like about this is it teaches more than just, you know, your typical math, but it teaches grouping and counting and all the things that correspond to your child's age. Because on the app, you take a little, they take a little test to see where they should be placed, which I like that it came with its own placement test. So that was K-5 and we're still going through that for first grade because he's, he gets excited about it. And I always want my child to be excited about learning um, and have a great learning experience. So a lot of the things that I'm going to show you, if they need to be tweaked because my son is learning better with one than with another, or if he needs something different, that's what I'm going to go with. I kind of, I'm not going to put him in the box of you have to do this. I want him to want to learn and I want it to be something that you know, he gets excited about because I mean, I think we all learn best when we're actually excited to, to learn, right? So the other thing with the reading act on um, the reading eggs and the math seeds app is they give you progress reports. So every time he's done with a map, then you'll see what I'm talking about. If you um, pull it up, I'll put a link in the description. This isn't sponsored or anything. We just really, really love it. There is a progress report that gets emailed right to me and it tells me the words that he learned and the different things that he was quizzed on. And then at the end of each map, he's able to take a quiz. There are also like little games in there. So I'll tell him, um, if you finish, you know, this amount on this map, then you can do a driving quiz. And then it's literally a little game, but even within the game, excuse me, but even within the game, he's learning. So I really, really like that. It's more of a game, even though he's learning. So if, you're, if your child does not, you know, if you don't want a lot of screen time, I usually don't go over an hour, but these are options to reinforce what he's learning on the app, or I think you could just buy these. I mean, I just bought these. I wanna say they were $20 a piece or $15 a piece, something like that. And I got free shipping. So he really is enjoying those. So we're gonna keep it going with those. So the other supplement that I'm using is what we used for K5 also. And this is K, 
This is grades K through two. And this is 100 write and learn sight words and practice pages. And what I really, really like about this is you get your, your word. I don't know if it's focusing, focus camera. And you, they get to fill these in. He loves that he gets to cut these out and then paste them and then he comes up with his own sentence. When he's done, if he does a good job, I let him color whatever the little picture is in the corner and he seems to really like that. We actually don't write in this book. I, I um, like make photocopies as we're going through it. And you know, just because he can cut out a little better and things like that. So, and I don't wanna you know mess up the page behind it. And then after that, he's able to run through the house. But after that, he is able, he just gets excited because he has this thing that he did all by himself. And there's kind of a little bit of art that I kind of throw in there, which is interesting. A lot of the curriculum that I see, that's basically what it does as well. So what we also used for over a year, I was in Costco one day and I saw this in their book section and it has been dropped because I'll ask him to bring me the box so we can read some Bob books and he drops it. So um, it's a little beat up, but I like that it's kind of a filing system. So we're just gonna keep it um, a little tape, you know, just a little tape. So it has flashcards, it has little books, it has first stories, animal stories, beginning readers, and it's done in stages. And I love the simplicity of this and I really believe that that's why he learned how to read and he really gets excited about this because you have this little book and look at this little book, thin little book, and it's very cartoonish but he really gets excited. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna focus or not, but he really gets excited about these little characters and they're just tiny little bits of color in each. I don't know if they do that so it won't distract them, but it's really simplistic, but it's really fun. And he'll hold that book and it's like a quick win because He'll read the one and he's like, he wants to see what happens to the Sam or this Matt character in the next one. And he wants to read that next book. And when we first started, it took him a little while. And then he started getting really fast and started moving on up in the stages, getting really excited about it. And I love that it comes with all of these different cards that we can practice. And then, you know, if he doesn't know the word right away, I can flip it over. And typically he'll remember the story and it'll trigger his memory and he'll know what that word is. I love that. And then it has your regular flashcards that come with it. It comes with a ton of stickers and it is just all of these books. And it's a great supplement to anything that you're doing. A lot of times I would have, I would quiz him like on Fridays, I would give him a little quiz and I would flash the card to him real quick and I'd have him write it down on a whiteboard or to practice his writing. I would just have him write it in a little notebook. So for social studies, what we are using is my story. And this is by Masterbooks. It's my story and the world around me. This is level one. It ha you can put it in a three ring binder and you can pop the pages out, but I don't like I don't like the mess, so I just keep it all in this one. I like in the beginning of this book, it basically gives you, it tells you what all the little icons mean, like my story journal time, review time, and things like that. But it also gives you um, a suggested daily schedule. It has 180 days in it. Can you see that? Hopefully you can, I don't know if my camera's focusing or not. But it has semesters. This is a faith focused <laughs> um, book is what I really, really loved about it. And they tell you about different people all over the world. And I like that the focus is on other kids in other parts of the world. So there's an activity time in there. Um, and then what I, the other thing that I really love about this is all of these little yellow highlights they end up becoming this fun little project for him. So at the end of the week, after he's done with all the lessons for that week, I give him little index cards and he has to find all the yellow words from that week, write them down, and then I give him a little special box that he can put all the words into. And then I actually um, 
I'll flash the cards just to make sure that he remembers. And then sometimes I'll read a sentence or I'll say something to kind of, you know, make sure that he understands that word in context. So it's social studies, but he's also getting some English thrown in there. There's also like little picture time, word finds that help reinforce that vocabulary. And he learns about, you know, just so many different things. Um, they speak about Noah in here as Noah and his family and Adam and Eve and their family. They don't go into some deep Bible study over it, but they just talk about the beginning of the family. So I absolutely love that. And it's, it's simple and this is going to work very well for us right now. So before I get into more of the curriculum, I had to show you this. I had this in my Amazon cart for the longest time. And then my friend actually showed me what it looked like in person. And this is the homeschool planner. And what I loved about it, well, after I saw hers in person, I thought, okay, I think I will get that because I didn't know that it was undated and it looks really, really cool. So I'll show you what this looks like. It has neutral colors, which I really like because it blends in with all of my planners and all the things that I have on my bookcase. So this is just another area where I can keep record of things. And I typically, I mean, just like with my own planner, I write down after I've done something rather than, you know, a whole giant to-do list. So I write as we go. So this year, things to learn, word or verse to live by, things to try, books to read, habits to work on, big dreams and places to go is one of your very first pages. I'm not gonna get into like an in-depth, you know, review of this. I really, really like it. And I just wanted to show anyone out there that's looking for an option. So there are monthly family goals for home, for school, for spiritual work, health and relational. And then as we are going through things, I just write them in. So there's also this little section for the menu. I tried that. <laughs> it can't, it just, it just can't fit everything in that I want. So um, school, homework, thankful for, word of the week. And I like that a lot too, at a glance. And then I just fill in what we did, what time we started. Um, we, before we start schoolwork, we do Bible study and I'll typically write, you know, what time we started there. I'll write down what time we had recess and all of those things. But I just think it's a really, really great option if you're looking for a planner. And then this was like the monthly student schedule. You can put that in there. So for your different subjects, I don't really use that, that, that portion because I have something on my wall, but this is, I mean, it's just super cute. So that is what I'm using for the actual planning. And then when I need to log in to the homeschool little curriculum online thing, I, I can just look at that, plug some stuff in. So for science, this out of everything is our absolute favorite. So this is the, um, the good and the beautiful science for little hearts and hands, the big book of science stories, fields and flowers. This I got specifically because my kid loves to play in the dirt. We plant things, we try to grow things, and he is really, really into being outdoors. So this is so, so much fun because not only does it share a great story, beautiful artwork, it really is beautiful, but it shares so many facts within this book. So this is the teacher guide and these lessons are short and sweet, but it's just enough where they're able to learn and it's not overwhelming. So this one, for example, we did and we were, so you've got an opening there. They'll tell you if there is an activity up here, the different things that you'll need. There's a story time. And then for this one, you would read seeds on page 38, the big book of science stories that I just showed you. And then in some of them, there's a movie time. And then that just comes with their free, um, good in the beautiful app, which is actually really great. The young lady that does like the story time and, and shares the videos is really personable and bubbly. And my son, my son seems to really like her. So, this was seeds 
and then it showed you know how things germinate the ones that have movies actually show videos of the different things that they're learning so one was about um conifer trees and that was really really fascinating leaves um, trees that live in sleep and we learned about all of that which is a lot of fun he really enjoys that i really do too so for language arts this is the good and the beautiful level one and it goes over phonics writing reading grammar and punctuation spelling literature geography and art and this is another one where i wasn't sure if i was going to like it i'm going to be honest with you because i watched a bunch of reviews and i thought well it seems pretty cumbersome to have this book and to have these reading booster cards and to have these little books and to have separate readers and i'm going to be honest with you i actually really like it and so does my son the variation seems to work really well obviously they knew what they were doing the lesson itself what i love as a parent is that it does not take a ton of preparation whatsoever it can literally take me five minutes to prepare this one you read first you work on the booster cards or the readers and i'll show you what that looks like and you do that for five to 10 minutes, then you complete this letter tiles activity. So these are some of the areas where I try to get a little creative. So sometimes I'll let him use the app, which I think is really great because it doesn't seem like a game and he's able to focus a little better. But other times I'll pull out a whiteboard and I'll call out, um, I'll call out words to him and see if he can remember how to spell them so that he's also still writing. And then this one I thought was a really great idea um, because you had to narrate a story to your child and then they had to give a synopsis of that story. And I thought that that was really great as far as reading comprehension to see if he was listening, paying attention, things like that. Then there is independent practice. Some of the themes of the way that they laid this out repeat. And I actually really like that. But which is interesting is like I said before, I didn't know if I was going to want to do you know, all the different, um, you know, this and this, which is funny because his K-5 curriculum, I would just put together a bunch of stuff. And these actually really correspond and really complement each other very, very well. They don't move at the same pace as the book. So if he needs extra time on something here, you get that extra time, but not just that. When you get to certain portions of this book, it tells you, it'll have a little symbol that tells you what card they should have mastered before they can do this. And before you even start that curriculum, you have to master certain things before um, even starting the course, which are a bunch of sight words and vowels, you're long and you're short. The thing that my son really seemed to love about this is that after he mastered something, he got to take a sticker from the back of the book and put that he mastered it and he gets really, really excited about this. I love that these are like a cardboard almost. So they're super durable. This is not sponsored. We just, this is what we've been using for three weeks and we really like it. So these are the sight words. Whenever you master something, he gets to put that little sticker there. But what I really, really like is they sneakingly have them repeat things. So our, our very, very, our very pretty, our very pretty friend. And he is repeating these things. And then when he is done, he gets to write, I mean, he gets to put the sticker that he's mastered it. And he seems to really, really love that. Then the corresponding books, I guess, you know, since he was already familiar with the Bob books and he really liked that, those little tiny books, I guess there's something to that. <laughs> These are obviously a bit more beautiful. Those are a bit more cartoonish and these have way more color, obviously. But these are your sight word group, group one. And depending on which one he masters, it will tell you which book to read next. And he gets very, very excited about this. So beautiful little watercolor artwork in there not a ton of words on the page it's not overwhelming but it's reinforcing and that is what i really 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 like may or may not be adding some other things and there's one more thing that i did get but it to me i feel like if he's already writing a ton with some a lot of the other supplements that i i got i didn't necessarily need to get this but i will show you anyway and it is the handwriting level one i may i probably should have gone to level two 
but I do like that there are options after. So this is the repetition that my son does not care for. He doesn't care for writing an E over and over and over again. Um, <laughs> but I tell him, if you do that, you get to color this, whatever you want. And some of the other things that I've learned, you know, just because this is a learning experience for both of us. But some of the things that I've learned is that if I do something simple, like let him use colored pencils, you know, for certain things to write and, and he can use different, you know, he can use three different colored pencils if, if he'll write all of his words up. So I found little ways to get him to do the repetition and still stay involved and engaged in it. So I would love to know what you are using for your homeschool curriculum. What has been your experience so far? I have watched a ton of review videos and I think that they are super helpful. Sometimes knowing what you want to do is just as important as knowing what you don't want to do <laughs> in making these decisions. So I would love to know what you're using for your kid.